Until recently, details have been scarce regarding the ongoing development of the new Battlestar Galactica TV series. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Sam Esmail, a lead producer for the series, provided an update indicating that the project is progressing steadily and is now close to entering the pilot production phase. Although much still remains a mystery about the pilot episode and the series' overall setting, Esmail was able to share that they have developed a comprehensive outline for the series and responded to a few questions regarding the creative team's approach. In this video, I'd like to break down Esmail's comments and what this indicates about the potential thematic focus of this new Battlestar Galactica series. In the interview, it was revealed that Esmail has decided not to write or direct the series, seemingly due to a self-awareness of his filmmaking strengths. When asked about this decision, he said, quote, "...because I know myself as a filmmaker, and I don't know if hard sci-fi is something I'm going to be the A-plus person to pull off. And Battlestar needs the cream of the crop, but I love the world and what Ron Moore did with the 2004 version, how it was such an allegory for what we're going through at the time of 9-11. I knew that if we bring in the right partners to write and film the show, I could be on that other end as a person of guidance to say, okay, I think this is working. It's the same magic I felt watching the Ron Moore version. Esmail's apparent commitment to ensuring that high-caliber talent is recruited for the new Battlestar Galactica series is both commendable and crucial for the success of the project. However, I'm still awaiting more specific details about the creative team he has assembled. Knowing who is on board and their respective backgrounds and filmmaking approach will provide a clearer picture of what we can expect to see in terms of the series' overall style and quality. The announcement of this team would certainly be a significant indicator of the direction Esmail is steering the show. It's also good to hear Esmail continue to convey a deep respect for the legacy of the 2004 adaptation by Ron Moore, which set a high bar in terms of audience expectations and narrative quality. Recognizing the specialized nature of hard science fiction, Esmail is expressing his preference for the series to be spearheaded by individuals who are particularly skilled in this genre. The hope is that this will enable the maintenance of the high standards set by the previous version. However, it looks as if he intends to remain actively involved in an advisory capacity, focusing on preserving the essence or magic of Ronald D. Moore's version. His specific focus on the reimagined version is particularly notable, especially given that he does not mention the original series created by Glenn A. Larson. This choice of reference indicates to me that this series is intended to align with the darker, more complex narrative style introduced by Moore, rather than the original's somewhat lighter, more straightforward sci-fi approach. This focus has bigger implications for fans of the franchise, as there is a significant segment of the audience that holds a deeper affection for the original series. These fans have often expressed a desire to see a return to some of the more classic elements of the original. However, Esmail's emphasis on Moore's interpretation suggests a different path, which potentially signals that they'll be straying further from some aspects that were central to the original series. If true, this further divergence will no doubt be a point of discussion as fans of both versions learn more about this series. When asked about how the changes in our world will affect their take on the BSG mythos, Esmail said, quote, Yeah, and the world is changing way too fast for us. I mean, when we started working on it, I obviously was aware of AI, but now, four or five years later, it's in the public consciousness. And now that's so influential in how we're going to tell the story. The allegory piece is something that is crystallized in a different way, too. The focus is the same, which is the fear of tech and how it might take over. But this idea of just, the robots are going to be our overlords, is a very facile and overly simplistic way of looking at it. Now that the audience is more sophisticated about the consequences, I think we have to match that with Battlestar. Sam's comments appear to confirm that once again, the artificial intelligence of the Cylons will be a key theme in the show, and considering how AI has grown both technologically and in public consciousness since then, it seems as if their intention will be to reflect those changes. They are also aiming to maintain the series' traditional exploration of the fears and uncertainties surrounding technology, a recurring theme in its earlier iterations. However, their aim will be to approach this theme with a more nuanced and sophisticated perspective, moving beyond surface-level interpretations to probe deeper into the complexities of technology's role in human life. 
Understandably, some might feel uneasy whenever they hear of modern Hollywood creatives speaking openly about allegory and storytelling the way that Esmail does in this interview. This unease is often rooted in the fact that many modern stories tend to deliver their messages and showcase allegories and themes in a heavy-handed, preachy manner, sometimes prioritizing certain worldviews at the expense of nuanced storytelling. The challenge, then, lies in integrating such allegories and messages in an artful way without alienating the audience, a delicate balance that many recent productions have struggled to achieve. Ronald D. Moore's version accomplished this in a way that did not date the series, which has been a key factor in its enduring appeal. His approach to storytelling and the artful use of allegory is something that current writers and creators should definitely keep in mind if they wish to achieve the same timeless appeal. In the specific context of Esmail's interview, however, I feel it's important to note that his comments about incorporating changes in the world and the evolution of AI into Battlestar Galactica were in response to a direct question about how these factors might influence the storytelling and allegorical elements of the series. Given that warnings about AI and the role of technology are central to the story of BSG, Esmail's focus on these themes seems appropriate and in line with the series' foundational concepts. Therefore, even with all of this discussion of allegory, I feel that these comments alone aren't reason for concern that the show will be used merely as a platform for overt and heavy-handed messaging. That being said, one point of concern I do have comes from Esmail's desire to transcend the traditional Robots as Overlords narrative. Many fans, including myself, feel it's important to recognize the enduring power and value of this simpler storytelling motif in science fiction. The idea that AI could one day surpass and potentially dominate humanity has been a cornerstone of the genre, inspiring some of its most memorable and thought-provoking works. This concept taps into fundamental human anxieties and questions about our relationship with technology, our desire for control, and the unpredictable nature of our creations. When handled thoughtfully, this theme doesn't necessarily lead to cliched or overused storylines. Instead, it can offer a powerful, resonant narrative that reflects our deepest fears and hopes about the future. Therefore, I believe that the challenge lies not in the core idea itself, which has proven its merit time and again, but rather in the execution. There's really no need to reinvent the wheel, so to speak, as a well-crafted story that centers on the robots as overlords theme can still captivate and engage viewers, offering both entertainment and a meaningful commentary on our increasingly technologically driven world. Hopefully, what Esmail means with these comments and what the show's writers are aiming for is a complex and engaging story that avoids being a simplistic retread or a lazy reductive copy of something that came before. Instead, striving to deliver a series that is thoughtfully developed, complex, layered, and uniquely compelling in its own right. But I'm curious to know what you think of Sam Esmail's insights about the new Battlestar Galactica series. Are there any sections of this interview that particularly intrigue or concern you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Battlestar Galactica and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.